about now? Much better, right? So that was us in the evenings, mudding and sanding our rooftop so it's nice and smooth. So welcome back to the DIY van build, my peeps. How's your week been? And this week, we are taking our sliding door and we're gonna make it look like this. What? Now, unfortunately, this present time right now, I have no clue what this was. You guys know already, but I don't have a clue. And my brain tells me it should look good, but something else in my brain has me all worried about it. Have you ever had that before? This door here, as we spoke about last week, you'll see that this is in the way, I don't know, an eighth of the door. Well, we obviously have that screen door out now, which means the time is now to finish the door. It's actually going to be a finished product by the time this video is over. Now, so this is your first time here, I should probably introduce myself. So my name's Jeff Dares. This channel is Dares Drives, and we are currently creating a series of bite-sized, step-by-step videos of us taking all these parts you see behind me and fitting them into this 2019 Mercedes Sprinter van, in which we're converting into a 4x4 overland roaming home, which we plan to travel con in with. So if you like that kind of thing, maybe hit the subscribe. Well, let's get to work, we got lots to do. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this window and I'm gonna tape it into place. Then, I'm gonna take these rubber seals from around the edge and I'm gonna pull them off all the way around the door as well. Keep in mind, I did not take the seal all the way off because it is a solid seal and you'd actually have to remove the door to be able to get it all the way off. So I'm just gonna lay it across like that. And then we're gonna take all these flyers they keep leaving at my front door until we make that door look just like this. Now I'm not gonna waste your time with the prep work. It's like the most important part of the job, also the most time consuming, but I'm sure you get the drift. So the reason why we taped that window in it's because this beauty ring, as you can see, sits around there when we put in our windows. I'm gonna take that off so that when our final coat goes on, it goes underneath that flange and then we can stick the flange back on and you won't see any seams, my friend. Then the inside of here, we covered just so we don't get anything on our insulation and we're ready to rock, my friends. So now I should probably tell you what we're using. And the first thing is I got a new tool, which is this tool right here. Oh, that didn't quite work as planned. It came with its own little bag. What? Look how shiny that is. Yes, it's a paint gun. And that's because we're painting that door, my friends. So the paint we chose is a bare product again, just like what we used with the waterproof. And it's Alkyde Satin Enamel. So it should go on quite thick. And with this lizard skin we have on here, it should give it a little bit of a texture, as well as just help it, hopefully that lizard skin will do what it says by slowing down the thermal transfer. And by doing that, it should reduce the chance of getting condensation on that wall, as well as make it feel more like touching an insulated wall than would be just a metal wall that's been painted with enamel. Know what I'm saying? And the positive of the paint being a melamine finish is that it's super durable, super easy to clean, and will resist any type of staining that's gonna come close to that exterior door. So, with our paint all loaded into our gun, and our airline hooked up, we're ready to paint. First coat, it's gonna get a lot brighter in here, my friends. Coat number five, my friends. So now it's like one o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna go get some sleep, and let this dry, and we'll come up tomorrow morning and we'll rip this apart. You ready? Are you guys awake yet? Good, because it's morning time. So, here it is. Check it out. But it's got like this rubbery feel. It's amazing. I wish you guys could touch it. 
hold on a second. Let's get all this paper off this door and then let me get dressed. Would you look at the contrast on that door? Oh my goodness. <laughs> the black and white. So now what we gotta do is we gotta obviously fill in this area and we gotta fill in the bottom area. So for the bottom one, it's pretty straightforward because our van came with these little black panels. If you go back on our Sunday stories, you can see where we disassemble it, talk about the clips and so on and so forth. But we're gonna use this panel to cover that hole perfectly, but I wanna get rid of the black because the contrast is way too much. We need to soften this up a bit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this fabric we bought, which is a gray tweed product that we got off a company called Perfect Fit. Once again, once we hit 500 subscribers, I'll tag them all below, I promise you that. But we gotta get to 500, my friends, hit subscribe. And this gray fabric is just gonna get glued straight to our plastic. So the first thing we're gonna do is take some emery cloth and sand it down a bit, just to get all the clear glaze off of the plastic. Then we're gonna take our fabric, cut it to size on top of our piece, and then we use our spray adhesive. We spray it on the plastic piece, as well as the back side of our fabric. And then we just stick them together, easy as that. Wrap it around the back. Then we make our holes where our clips are gonna go through. We just took a hot nail and a blowtorch, found the hole with our finger, and then pressed it down through. And we did that for every single hole. It makes a perfect hole every single time. And then we can just take our panel back over to the van and take those plugs I showed you and shove them back into their holes. And there it is, our first finished panel inside the van. That was pretty sharp, eh? I'd say pretty close to factory even. So, now I'm going to need you to look up, all the way up. And that's this spot right here. So we need to fill in this, the exact same way we did the bottom, but this van did not come with this panel. It's been made out for it, but it didn't actually come with this panel. So, we're going to have to make a template, and this is how I've kind of thought in my head would be the best way to do it. I'm going to take blue tape, and I'm going to run it across it. Then I'm going to use our felt pen. I'm going to trace out that line. And I'm going to find where those bolt holes are as well at the same time. Then we'll just remove that full stencil. And let me tell you, that paint sure did help out because it resists any type of sticky or stains. So this didn't even really stick to it all that great, which was perfect. So using another piece of plastic from a different part of the van, we've taken our stencil, put it down on top of that plastic, we're just going to simply cut it out with our jigsaw. Then we drilled out our marked locations for our mounting holes. Sand it down really good around the edges to make sure it's all smooth and flat. And then wrap it and glue it just like we did that first panel. And put our holes in again. Now we're ready to put that one in the van. And with our custom panel complete, we're just going to stick it right in just like we did the other ones. Look at that. What? I'm going to say that looks pretty much perfect. What do you think? Wowzers. I freaking love it. Here, come in closer. Check this out. You guys got to see it. It is amazing. This is only 24 hours after painting it. And it's solid, peeps. Wow. I wish you guys could touch it. Listen to it. It doesn't even sound like steel. That's awesome. Wicked, wicked. Here, get a closer look. Turn on some music. So, what do you think? Give me your honest opinion below. Please, comment, comment. Myself, I feel I was worried over nothing. I'm, I'm super happy with the job. And that's it, we're moving on to the next one. So I'm gonna clean this area all up, and we are gonna call this another video in the bank, another project in the books. 
So, if you've made it this long and you haven't subscribed yet, maybe consider doing so. No pressure, of course, you do you, but it is completely free and it does mean the world to me. If you have subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, as always, we, we will see you next Sunday. Perfect.